Welcome back everybody, this is Always back with another video on the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Ionic Dev App. Now when you're writing Ionic application, most of the time you spend is in the browser because you might be spending a lot of time on the UI. But with Ionic Dev application, you can run that application on iPhone, iPad, Android, Android tablets using Ionic Dev App. Now I'm going to close this and let's go back to terminal. I'm going to stop the server. And here, as you can see, I'm mirroring my iPhone uh, to the right of my screen here. And it's running Ionic Dev application. So let me take you to the App Store. And you're going to need to search for Ionic Dev App. And this is the second option that you need to download. Once you download that, you need to create an account as well. So again, we go back to the browser and I'm going to open Ionic Framework website. Here, you're going to need to create an account by clicking on getting started. And as you can see, I've logged into my account. So you, once you create that, you will get this kind of dashboard. Let me close this. So to be able to run application onto Ionic Dev App, you need to start the server with this command. So Ionic serve space dash dash dev app. I'm not sure why they haven't updated Ionic Dev App because here it says run Ionic serve dash C. Well, that wouldn't work because that's kind of like old way of running your Ionic application on a Dev App. But the new command is Ionic serve space dash dash dev app. Okay, so let me just press enter and it's going to bring up the server for me. And you need to make sure that you're on the same network. So you need to be on the same Wi-Fi connection. So right now I'm connecting to my uh, Mirza NBN. And similarly, I'm using the same Mirza NBN on my iPhone as well. So because both com uh, my Windows computer and iPhone are on the same network, I should be able to see an application uh, appearing in my Ionic Dev app. So the server is started. I'm just going to try refreshing it and it should pick up Ionic uh, this server. So right now it's not doing that. So I'm just going to close this application and try to open that again and it should pick up. Okay, there you go. So it says clock dash app. And it's giving me this IPv4 address for my Windows computer. So I'm just going to tap on that. And uh, there you go. Our Ionic app is actually running on iPhone from a Windows PC. So using this Ionic Dev app, you can actually use your Windows computer and then directly test your application on iPhone. So you don't really need to have a Mac to be able to see that how your application is going to look like or how it's going to perform. And this is great because Ionic is a cross-platform framework and we should be able to use iPhone Windows, Windows operating system. So we got one thing which is like you can run your application on iPhone using you know this server. You don't have to connect it to the Windows computer. And if you're on Android, you can connect directly to you know computer via USB. But I find this much easier. You just open the Ionic Dev app and just do the stuff. Now, the good part about this, if I go to the code and I'm just going to try updating some UI here. So probably app component. And here it says, welcome to Ionic. Uh, it's not saying that here. It probably be in home page. So here it says, welcome to Ionic. Okay, I'm just going to change that to block dash app and I'm just going to save it. Once I save that, it's going to recompile our application and you'll notice that our Ionic Dev app automatically refreshed the app in the, in the iPhone. So this way that you just really don't need to refresh the app or anything. It's just a similar thing that you do in the browser, but you need to have a device specific stuff like GPS, camera, fingerprint sensor. You can directly see how your app is performing on the iPhone by just using iPhone and then testing an application. So this is basically a mirroring it. Uh, you need to have a mirroring software 
to be able to see your iNIC app on the computer. But to me, I'll just use iPhone and test it, you know, write the code, it will update itself. And this way, your workflow becomes really, really fast. Um, so that was a quick uh, tip, or I would say just a tutorial on Ionic DAO app. I hope you like it. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.